What's up YouTube, it's Chris Grant here and today we're going to be talking about Tactical Bucket and how to use the TA bulk lists with Tactical Arbitrage. So there are a couple of different ways that you can actually create these and I'm going to go through them right now so that you can properly use your Tactical Bucket subscription with Tactical Arbitrage. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you'll check out this bulk list tools and you can go to TA bulk lists. Uh, then you can do a bunch of different things here. Okay. You can choose by country uh, and you can create a bulk list for just, just about, well, actually every store that's in tactical arbitrage. These get updated on a daily basis. Uh, so you can choose the country, whether you are selling in Australia or, or I'm sorry, in the US or any other country. You can also choose the match type. So maybe you only want to go after title sites. Uh, you can choose just the title sites and those will show up here. Uh, you can search by store name. So uh, maybe I want to go with uh, Blade Play and Blade Play will pull up. Perhaps I want to, oh, let's see what's in the ends. If I just put in N, I get all of these. Uh, let's see here. We can go with journeys. All kinds of ways to search that. Okay. Now, once you have that figured out, uh, you chose whether it's a title or a UPC site, you choose the country that you're in. All you have to do is click create a list. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go, go to accessory geeks right here. I'm going to create a list. And this is going to take me to another screen. Now I have the uh, I have the ability to select all. Okay, and I, there are 50 categories in this particular site, so I can select all of them. Uh, but maybe <clears throat> maybe I don't want to go after all of them. Uh, for example, I really don't want to go after screen protectors. So I could do home and living accessories for your vehicle, cradles and mounts, and I could just choose the single categories that I'm interested in. Uh, you could also, if you choose select all, you could then unselect the ones that maybe you don't want to go for. So I'm not interested in screen protectors. Uh, I'm not really interested in cradles, mounts, or stands. Uh, I don't really want to sell batteries or chargers or data cables, uh, but everything else <clears throat> would be fine. Then once I do that, I click save to CSV. And it's going to automatically name the name of the store, AccessoryGeeks underscore com for dot com underscore bulk list so that it's easy to know exactly what you have. You click save on that and then you can upload that into Tactical Arbitrage. Now, I also want to show you, you can do a multi-store bulk list. In the multi-store bulk list, let's close that. In the multi-store bulk list, you can do several things. You can choose whether or not it's an XPath site that you subscribe to. We're going to go with no. Uh, we're going to choose the type of store. I'm going to go with title stores again. We're going to choose the country, USA. And then I'm going to go with toys. All right. Now, this is going to take a moment. And it's going to go out and it's going to find every single site with a toy category. And you're going to see here that there are 3,301 categories. Now, the really cool thing that you can do is you could, uh, you see that you've got the source domain, you've got the product count. If you click on product count, you can actually uh, take this and sort it by how many products are in a particular category. You could s sort it by source domain. So perhaps you wanted to go in alphabetical order. Maybe you wanted to go in reverse alphabetical order, or you can go by category name, alphabetical order or reverse alphabetical order. So there's all kinds of ways that you can uh, sort this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sort this by product count, and I'm going to select 500. Now this will go ahead and choose the first 500 rows, and I can save this to a CSV. It's going to give me a multi-store TA list. And what I would probably do is add in 
an underscore toys. And I can save that. Then I can go into my product search and I can upload this as a multi-store bulk list and run a huge amount of categories, up, you know, 500, the max that tactical arbitrage will take, in anything that you want to do. For example, let's get out of toys and let's go to uh, grocery. We search grocery here. Let me clear that. And now, let's search grocery here. Grocery. We search grocery and now we have 6,871 grocery categories that we can choose from. We can do, go by product count, forward and backward, and we can go by source domain and category name. It still has some of those toys in there, but we can get rid of those. Just clear that out. Well, that is how you do a multi-store bulk list generator. If you have any questions on that, please leave them in the comments. I will make sure to answer every single question that you might have. Uh, and if you want to subscribe to the Tactical Bucket, there's a link below that you can use. Uh, it is an affiliate link, but go ahead and click on that. Grab yourself a Tactical Bucket uh, subscription and use this with Tactical Arbitrage. All right, I will see you guys in the next video.